Hello everyone. This is another video for the WV Humanities Center series, Earth Through the Eyes Of. Today we'll be taking a look at Earth Through the Eyes Of a Psychologist. So as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about Earth and psychology. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at how climate change affects psychology. Now, my name is Alexandra Rosoffs, and I'm actually a junior here at WVU, and I'm majoring in psychology. First, I wanted to describe what the humanities are and how they're important for today's topic. So the humanities are a developing insight into human thought, culture, and history, insight that connects deep knowledge to the way that we live. Here at WVU, the Humanities Center mission statement is, the Humanities Center at West Virginia University cultivates critical humanistic inquiry, fostering innovative, collaborative, interdisciplinary, and publicly accessible scholarship and teaching to benefit the common good of the university, the state, and the world. So the humanities is looking at basically how to better people's lives. And we can't do that without an earth. And climate change is slowly encroaching on that. Okay, and now you may be wondering, what exactly is climate change? Well, climate change is the long-term change in the average weather patterns. The planet's average surface temperature has actually risen about 2.12 degrees Fahrenheit since the late 19th century. The biggest reason for that is because humans we produce so much carbon dioxide because of all of our technologies, such as factories, cars, and even just us cutting down way more trees than we're planting. Now, this has an effect on lots of things on Earth, such as the ocean temperature will continue to rise, and that affects ocean life, uh, the melting ice caps and ice sheets, which will result in higher sea levels. There will also be more extreme weather events. It's expected to, we will get more hurricanes that will be even more severe, um, as well as animal life. Their habitats will be disrupted and our human life will be disrupted. All right, so how does climate change affect humans? Well, first of all, water resources, as well as water quality, Will continue to decrease. Um, food, agriculture, the earth won't have the right conditions to grow any um, crops. Uh, and then health, diseases are expected to rise. Uh, there's going to be poor air quality, more asthma, and mental health is expected to take a big hit because of climate change. As the climate crisis continues, it's expected that there will be an increase in stress, as well as higher levels of anxiety, depression, and PTSD. Psychologists also suspect that there will be high levels of um, this feeling of guilt for many people as they feel that they could have done more to prevent the climate crisis. But not all is bleak, and psychology can actually help. Psychologists can gain an in-depth look at human behavior that carries on these climate change issues. They can also look at human reactions to new, greener technologies and policies that are implemented. Recently, psychologists have actually created a way to convince people to help out a bit more. They call this crossing the borders of thought, time, and space. So what they mean by this is with thought. It's using persuasion tailored to local circumstances. So if you live on an island, you obviously probably are going to start caring about if the ocean sea levels are rising. And so, yeah, you're going to start making changes. With time, they say make the future look less distant using kinship. So what are your kids going to do if the earth is no longer sustainable? And then for space, they suggest philanthropic competition, which simply means uh, by showing a group of representatives the benefits of being seen as moral. 
as a college kid, what can you do? And to simply put it, just start doing your part. Clean up your trash. If you go outside and you see glitter, clean it up. Recycle whenever you can. I know it's hard here in Morgantown because we don't have a recycling center, but maybe one day, if enough of us use our voice, we will. Also, just start to be conscientious of the waste that you're creating. This is a hard and scary topic to cover, but it's something that's important as it affects all of us here on Earth. I want to thank you all for listening, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.